Hey guys, I just want to show you this homemade wood splitter. Been working on it for about probably four or five months here in my shop. Uh, the first piece of, of it that I bought was this I beam. It came out of a scrap yard. And it's uh, this is what's left of that beam. I think it's like 10 foot long when I first got it. And it's got like three quarter I beam thickness on the top and bottom plate. And I think the center width is like 7 16 But uh, I gave like 40 bucks for that at that scrap yard. And the next thing I ended up getting from them was this cylinder here. It's a six inch cylinder. It came off of a Caterpillar Trico. It's got like a 40 and a half inch stroke on it. And this tank, uh, you, it was a fuel tank for that same Trico and I just used it as a reservoir. But it was too big, it held like 60 some gallons and that's more than I needed and it made everything too tall. So I cut it in half and welded it back together. So now it holds about 45 gallons, but I've only got about 35 in it. Then uh, the motor and the two valves and the, the, the filter and the gas tank and the battery, all that I ordered off the internet from a guy in California called PNJ Equipment. And that guy's got a lot of knowledge and a lot of insight on how to do this type of stuff. And well, what I've got here on this reservoir here is a two inch suction strainer that's buried inside of this that all the fluid runs through this big strainer and then it leaves, goes up through this pipe into the pump, it's got a 28 gallon minute per minute pump on it. That leaves the pump, goes out through the rear of the cylinder and comes up into this, into this first valve. And it's called a uh, double cycle valve or two cycle valve, it's, a, it's an auto cycle. What this valve does is when you push both these handles forward at the same time, the cylinder fully extends and then fully retracts. After it gets to the end, this cylinder pops up, or this valve does, and then it, after it retracts, this cylinder pops up. So it's waiting for you to put the next stick of wood. So I can push both down, have a stick of wood splitting, go out and get my next stick of wood, have it here ready to go by the time this thing's already made a cycle. This other valve here works these two cylinders. This one here runs the four-way wedge that raises up and down to, to split wood four times. And this other valve operates the cylinder that raises the log lift. And then it's got a power beyond plug between those two valves, which gives you all the power on this second valve that you need. Plus, after the fluid leaves this, the fluid leaves the cylinder, instead of running it all back through this valve, this thing's got a dump valve on it. That's why I've got three hoses back here, or two hoses on the back of this cylinder, because when it when the cylinder retracts, all this fluid don't have to run through the valve, it just runs through this dump valve, it's opened up and it goes into this manifold. So the fluid goes into this two and a half inch square tubing, it's like a half inch wall thickness manifold, and that lets me run all my plumbing into that, and then it returns from the bottom of this manifold through this lens filter back into the tank. It's got like a 25 horsepower, 690 engine on it, which is a little more proper than I need, but Job. I'm going to fire it up and just let you see it run and what I, the only thing I do is run the cylinder in and out but I can have a log get a split but at a later date I might get that worked up but you know, in order to crank it I'll just turn the gas up let it pull the choke out and then I'll walk around and let my log I've got a pin in my log and it's going to come back to go down if I'm moving it down the road hanging there. I'm going to hit the motor a little bit. I've got two needle valves on this valve here that is fixed the flow going through these two cylinders here because they would operate too fast. But this lets the, the uh, log lift go down. We put, on, we, put, we, we put logs in there a lot bigger than you can roll around and they'll pick them up each and five. This one here runs a four-way wedge up and down. All that, you can see how this thing works on the bottom here. It's just got a little cylinder on the bottom. It goes in and out. Put that one up and down. And then the log just comes over. Put that log just down. Put the ball down that way down. And if I just put these two loops forward, you can see the way it's going to come out. It's got like a three inch round in it. I don't know what the cycle time is, but.
I'll get in the woods, let you guys shoot off right. 